Okay, uh, let's continue. We have a new kids on the block. They are called Stadtkraft Ventures, and they successfully headhunted the speaker from Hightech Gründerfonds called Matthias Dill. Welcome to EcoSummit. Hi, Jan. Thank you, and thanks for having me. Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Matthias from Stadtkraft Ventures. And I'm here today to do a little quiz with you. And um, I'm just going to ask you, show you a few numbers, and be interested in what you think that could tell you. Um, so what's that? 33. Any ideas? <laughs> That's charming. Thank you. No, actually, 38. Any idea? 38 gigawatt is what's coming out of Chinese factories every single year in photovoltaics modules. That's quite massive. That is like equivalent approximately to 33 nuclear power plants. That's, that's big. So what's that? Zero? Any idea? What's it? Yeah, true. But that's not what I mean here. Would be nice. <laughs> that's the expected EBIT for conventional generation in 2030. <laughs> so what does that tell us? It tells us change is happening. I mean, it's really drastic, tremendous change that is going on. And that is good, because change this time is, is different. Change can be driven by people in this room, on this conference. Change is really driven by entrepreneurs. Change is happening really fast. And change is possible with, le with less capital than it used to be. I mean, just compare like the setup, planning, constructing of a nuclear power plant, take a couple of years, a couple of billions, and compare that to those 33 gigawatts that just fall off the factory every single year. That's quite, quite different. So, I mean, what that leads to is that startups are dominating that market. And that's interesting. And um, I just show that specific example is just one example of many, where startups really have made that change happen in the, in the field of direct marketing in that case. So, and, and by the way, Stuttgart happened to be in that place too. I mean, they were successful, quite successful in, in ramping up operations in the direct marketing sector. But it's just one example. I mean, there's tons of opportunities out there. I mean, there's tons of business models we don't even know yet, but they will be relevant. They will change the scene drastically in a couple of years. So, and that is why we're there. I mean, we are there for the entrepreneurs. We want to be the preferred partner for smart entrepreneurs. And the way we do it is by venture capital. So I'm the venture capital unit of Shackcraft. They are 100% shareholder in our venture group. And we just act as any venture capital investor, I guess, one part, which is we invest in early phase startups. We provide um, money between half million, two and a half million initially. We don't have a really rigid frame, but that's probably what we be looking at. Um, we like early phase startups, and it's always a matter of what you think early is. We tend to prefer deals that are kind of close to market. We don't really want to invest in too much technology development. So that's what we consider like the right phase. But if you're not sure, if you think we should talk, let's talk. And uh, the region uh, that we will be looking at is, is Europe, which is quite a large, <laughs> rather broad focus. But we're opportunistic. We really look for the most promising players, people that are really up to disrupt that sector, and obviously to grow to be large and relevant players. Yeah. So that is probably what we do, like everybody else does. On top of that, we really want to be an active, proactive lead investor that adds value. And that value that we're trying to add, uh, we really want to derive from the Stadtkraft group, which is a large, large group, like 30, uh, 3,500 people worldwide, and mostly 
um, operating hydro, hydropower assets, but also really active in trading and in market relevant operations. Um, so we really think that the founders are the ones that driving the change and that investors, even ourselves, should not try to cut that role too, too much. So we, we want the entrepreneurs to be in the driver's seat. We really, we are there for them. We're, we're actually, we're, serve, we're not a capital provider only, we're a service provider for the founders. And we do that by being active board members. And just, just to make it clear, I mean, we really want to leverage synergies between the Statcraft group and our future portfolio. But we, I mean, the venture capital group is not a strategic investor. We're there for returns. We want to earn money. Um, we do not take any extra strategic rights in our venture capital unit. We're happy if you cooperate with other parts of the firm in various ways, and we really help to find the right partners. But as far as the investment agreement is concerned, we just invest like anybody else does. And that's important because we like syndicates. We're really um, happy to team up with other investors, and um, we don't need any extra in, in this. So we think we're a good partner for startups. And beyond the money that we provide, we think we can add value for a couple of reasons. I mean, we are committed. We understand energy markets. And we've been through it ourselves, as I just tried to show in the short example of direct marketing. We have an act attractive uh, portfolio of assets that we own, of our activities that we have. And I really try to be your navigator. And even if you're not looking for money, but if you're trying to plug into what Stratcraft does, if you think you can be a relevant partner, I really be there for you to find the right people within our rather large firm. And we do have, obviously, some expertise. And in some fields that might be relevant for you, I hopefully in some fields you really ahead of what, what Stadtkraft Corporate is doing, because that's why you're disruptive. And, but really we're there to, to help you and share expertise. We really, we have an open culture. We really want to share knowledge because then it just, it's just, it's a path to growth for us and for startups. And as I said, I mean, I think being a corporate, we still have the right culture. We're still entrepreneurial to a certain degree. We understand entrepreneurs. And we just love that culture. We're really trying to be as nimble as startups. We're really not quite as nimble and quick, but we really see the value in being entrepreneurial. We see the value in startups and their culture. And actually, the venture unit itself, we're a startup too. We've just been incorporated a few weeks ago, so we haven't done any deals yet. Um, we're a startup ourselves. Maybe with one exception, uh, the, uh, the fact that I don't need to raise money is kind of convenient. But everything else, I, I need to do just like, like you do. So I think, uh, I hope we are a relevant partner for you. I'm really there for you. If you think you have something that we should talk about, just talk to me after uh, this presentation or any time. I'll be here the entire day till this evening. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Matthias. Welcome. Great pleasure to have you. Uh, when do you expect your first deal? You already have deal flow? We got some. I mean, we just uh, released the press release two days ago. Yeah. So we won't be doing any deals unless we find the right ones. Yeah. So I, I don't really want to bet on that. I mean, how many per year do you think? You, how many do you think you will make this year? One or two? One or two. Yeah. We can do more if we find good ones. We're not doing a single one if they're not good or don't really fit or we don't get together. Okay. So, I mean, we do like 10 million every single year of investments that translates into roughly four to five deals. Yeah. But we're really flexible, so we can adopt to what's, what's needed. And I think that's important. Okay. Go and get his money. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>